So as you can see, we're here inside of Premiere Pro in a standard 1080p 16x9 project file. And these are of some live sessions that I've done with a friend of mine called Rob Payne, which is coming out on the Everdream Pictures YouTube channel next week. Um, I will link them in next week's video when they are officially out so you can go check them out but head over to Everdream Pictures YouTube channel subscribe now and you'll be notified of when they come up but what we wanted to do is create a prod uh, sorry a video to publish to Facebook that was optimized to make the most to really publish or sorry to really promote these videos and the way I wanted to do that was create this square video. So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to make that square video. So what you want to do is with inside your project is create a new sequence and what you want to do is create a square timeline. So what you can do is go ahead and choose one of the standard 1080p presets and just head over into the settings and you just wanted to alter a couple of things within here. The main thing is changing the frame size of the horizontal size so we can change that to 1080 and you'll see here that the 16 by 9 will change to 1 by 1 which um, aspect ratio which is what you want to create square video uh, one other thing I would recommend changing is the sample rate I would lower that down um, for whatever reason this is the sample rate that Facebook prefer to have for that for their videos so I would just change that across to that one and then you can hit save preset so you can then use it for future videos. Once you're ready, hit OK and it will create your new timeline within Premiere Pro. Um, and what you can do, because Premiere Pro is quite good at doing this, is copy clips across from one timeline to another. So you can see here that I've pre-selected a few clips that I want to have in this advert. So you can go ahead and hit Control c on these clips, go into the new timeline, hit Control v and that will paste them into your new timeline. And as you can see, it's already um, generated the video clips um, exactly the same as they were in the previous file um, timeline into the new one and then what you can do is you can alter the size of the video depending on the look that you want to go for now a lot of people and you'll see on a lot of videos now on Facebook is they will have this kind of um, letterbox on them and have text here and here so you can really publicize the video or sorry talk about what's on the video will get people's attention with big bold text and it's not overlaying the video but for what I did for this advert is I kept it at, at this full size here so it fills that full frame and then had the text over the top so if I just pop ahead into the the actual video that I've used you can see here I'll just play you a little bit that I've got the text over the top of the video and it works really well um, as long as you've got nice bold text it's really going to grab someone's attention when they're scrolling through their newsfeed because now Facebook videos just auto play all the time so you want to make sure that it's got information in there which is going to grab people's attention um, so once you've edited your video and you're ready to export you can just head up to here hit file export media uh, and then what you want to do is make sure that you have a small file because I've found recently when I've been uploading videos to Facebook that it's taking an incredibly long time even if I've got a small file and you also want to make sure that it's um, actually in the same format that your timeline is so I would use one of these uh, match sources um, the medium bitrate is a good one to start from so you want to make sure that you don't use the Facebook ones because they will convert the video back to 16 by 9 so if we hit the medium bitrate here you just want to make sure uh, it's on the wrong one here so to hit across the video and you want to make sure that the the settings are the same as your timeline that the width is the same and the height is the same and then you can come down here and you I would recommend ticking render at maximum depth just to get the best quality out of your render and I'd also do a two pass on the the render it just gets um, a lot better final video once it's fully exported um, and then you want to look at the target bitrate and the maximum bitrate this is what's going to set your file size or the quality as well so generally for Facebook I would probably do a maximum bitrate of 12 and then a target bit rate of six. And you can see here for this 30 second clip that it's gonna give me around 24 megabyte file size, which is not is nothing when you think about file sizes now. 
but it's perfect to upload to Facebook nice and quickly and it's going to load a lot quicker on people's timelines. Plus as well, if you're going to be putting this onto a mobile device, a mobile device, it's not going to be taking up a lot of space. Um, the last thing I'd recommend ticking is just here, use maximum render quality, just to make sure that you're getting the best quality out of your render. And then once you're ready, just hit the output name, set the name of your file and where you want to save it, and then hit export. And once it's done, you can then upload it to Facebook and you're ready to go. Um, or if you want, you can actually use the auto publish feature within Premiere Pro. If you link up your or log in with your Facebook account, it will automatically post it to your Facebook page when it's finished uploading. But I'm actually using um, a business page within, within my Facebook and I wanted to set certain parameters for the post and I also wanted to do um, an ad with it, so a boosted post to get more views with it. So I'm going to upload it manually for mine, but if you want to use that you can and it will automatically post it to Facebook for you and then it's pretty much good to go. So if I head over here onto our Facebook page, you can see here that I've already uploaded this video onto Facebook about an hour ago, um, or 38 minutes if somebody wants to see that. Um, and you can see here that the square video just works so much better. It fills up that full space of the timeline, whereas if we would have had a 16 by nine video, it would have been a lot smaller and it would have been harder to see and it wouldn't have really grabbed people's attention, especially when you're seeing it on a mobile device.